welcome back to jade me um, this question is mainly just a extension of extension or modification of question 14 there was some question there was some conflicts uh, uh, and clarifications required by our user they they are asking uh, more questions so just to avoid that conflict or confusion i am creating um, another video so this is the what i can say is 14th modification just to avoid the confusion for the users right so without any further ado uh, let's discuss about the question the MariaDB deployment in MariaDB namespace is deleted accidentally and uh, which is having a persistent volume that is a good news so the data is retained with the rec retained reclaim policy so our responsibility is to re-establish the deployment so we need to simulate this so prerequisite is EV and the deployment configuration okay before we go there uh, our task is simply we need to create a pv so a sorry uh, we don't need to create a pv persistent volume already exists and uh, it is as i mentioned it is written for use so in your exam right they have already clearly mentioned you have only one pv make sure right create a persistent volume claim we need to create a pvc named mariadb in the mariadb namespace with the spec to storage is 250 mi and the access mode is read write once and uh, we need to edit the existing deployment file located under this directory that is mariadb deployment.ml file so in the deployment we need to use the newly created uh, pvc and we need to apply the updated deployment file and we need to make sure the deployment is up and are running without any restarts that is our uh, simple task right so as you guys know already i'm using a test cluster there we don't have any namespace or uh, deployment or pv or na nothing will be there so i need to create everything from the scratch but you don't need to create that that we will see what until up to what extent i need to create from where you need to start in your exam so first we need to verify whether the cube CTL get pv so this is my test cluster you don't see any pv but in your exam you will see that whatever the maria db does pv that is the name of your personal volume so next point is for me is i need to test the namespace right so maria db is not exist so i need to create a namespace uh called maria db yes i have created one now what i need to do is i need to create a persistent volume just to replicate the exam kind of scenario uh pv and the deployment i need to have but pv i need to create so first i will quickly show you what i am having in my pv.yml so this is the percent volume kind and the name of the pv and the capacity and the access mode read road runs and the main is retain the reclaim policy is the one that i need to mainly interested in as it is mentioned in the question right so let me apply this I will apply the PV uh, dot ML. I will show you what is there in my PVC, right? You can see kind is person volume claim, name is MariaDB, and the namespace is MariaDB, and access mode write is read write once, and the storage is 250 MI, and the volume name, the only one PV that was available in the exam, and it is mentioned in a question. So that's the name of the volume I have directly added to bound it, right? So that's what it is mentioned in the question. So we need to create a persistent volume named MariaDB in the MariaDB namespace with the spec is access mode read dot once and the storage is 250 MI. So in your exam environment, right? You don't want to worry about that. Where you need to get the persistent volume. So simply go to the Kubernetes documentation where you have access to it in your exam and just simply search kind uh, persistent volume claim and you will go here. Simply just modify the claim of the claim and the access mode is retired once and the request uh, and the, the resource is 250 MI. All right. And the volume name you need to add as whatever the actual volume of the persistent volume which you have in your exam. Right. Hopefully it will be the same. But just go and get first uh, kubectl get pv once you've got this right mariadb this you need to update in the your 
manifest file which you are going to create in your exam by referring to the official documentation that's it right so let me apply this okay so apply pvc dot amal oh sorry see okay yeah uh, claim is created now uh as part of the question it is mentioned that there is a deployment already exist okay i don't want i don't have um similar kind of location where this file is located right so no need to worry about it so you go ahead and just verify this location in your, uh, in your exam and get the yaml file and view the yaml file and update the uh persistent volume claim which we created uh in previous step so already i have updated but in your exam how it looks like yes i will show you oh come on okay so let me before that i'll just verify the whether the pvc status whether it is bound or it is in pending state right get pvc and followed by the namespace see it is bound this should be there otherwise your deployment will fail okay so make sure this is uh, set to bond i mean the status is in bond state to the deployment where i have all the deployment file already added you can see right in your exam the file will be similar but um which part it you won't have is uh, i'll show you we will just look into this first kind is our deployment you know the name of the deployment which they have already given in our file we don't want to manage about anything we don't want to modify name or the namespace if the namespace is not there you just add the namespace that mariadb and uh, the rest of the things you can ignore main is the volumes part where we are mainly interested in so if this part is not exist in your exam you go and add it the main thing is this is the one like volumes where you need to give the name of the volume and the main part is here the persistent volume claim the claim name is mariadb which we created so if you are not aware no worries go to the deployment file okay such here deployment with pvc right simply such like this configure a path to use a persistent volume right this is what we need uh if you navigate with down okay let's see what is there in the power definition this is the volume they have created but uh create volume claim also they have created now we need to see the manifest of the for see yep you can see right the volume spot we are talking about simply you copy this one under the deployment spec make sure you are copying this spec volumes under the deployment right so deployment spec this is the deployment spec where you need to modify uh, we need to copy either this one you can copy before above the container or it should match with the indentation of the containers that is already all you guys are already aware so i don't want to explain that on all now the volume mount part right this mount path and the name of the volume mounts and volume claim both should match and main thing is persistent volume claim name that that should match with the our actual uh, uh, persistent volume claim which we created recently you need to update that i have already updated and i uploaded before uh, this test session starts right so now i will quickly apply the deployment so the deployment is created now we need to verify the kubectl get deployment iphone n maria gb so already it is ready so there is no issue with that get pods iphone n maria db will just verify the pods as well you can see right uh pods also running the maria db pod is running and uh, kubectl get pvc iphone n maria db this is also in bound state there is no issues with that once you complete this part right so once you edit the deployment and just apply it after that you can just verify 
uh, you can just uh, verify the parts and even if you want uh, you can just describe the part okay so this is the part right cube ctl describe for the and part name you need to give sorry you need to give the part name part name followed by the namespace maria db i don't think uh, the all user looks good the successfully assigned maria db and already present and created the container started the container there is no restarts or issues right if you want you can just see the logs as well so we will just quickly see the logs so instead of describe i will just say kubectl logs so if you see the logs there is no issues with that ensure the maria deployment is running and stable there is no restarts that means it is stable and it is running that's it from this question or uh, if it, if my questions helped you to pass your ck exam please contribute a coffee for me i have posted the link in the description thanks for your time if you are still not subscribed please do and don't forget to comment and as i mentioned right when i got your time i will definitely respond to each one of your comment so don't take it in a negative way thank you guys bye for now